hello web community. I'm excited to be back with you uh, for the spring 2024 from the head to the feet episode. Uh, and I'm here with Colin Gabhart. And some of you may recognize where we are, but most of you probably don't. But we're excited to be here in downtown Bell Buckle, which is uh, a wonderful symbiotic relationship that we have uh, between Bell Buckle and the Web School, and um, I'm thrilled about that. But we're in uh, a relatively new space uh, here uh, in downtown Bell Buckle, and it's called Sweet Strings, and we're going to talk about that uh, in just a minute. But um, first question for you, Colin. What sure. brought you to Bell Buckle? Well, um, you know, like a lot of people, um, they come to Bell Buckle and they bring their relatives and, um, you know, just whoever comes to visit. Uh, we were doing that one day and we pulled up in front of the shop and it was for sale. And um, I told my wife, Gail, I was like, we're going to buy this and, and figure out what to do with it. So we had no idea at the time. Um, you know, so that's kind of the origin of it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a fun story in the middle of that that you may or may not know, but I think you got to the <laughs> buying this just before the web school did. So I did hear glad to I partner with you in this space. Though, so. <laughs> good, good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> so um, obviously, you can see in the background we have guitars here. This is a lot about music. So talk to us a little bit about your interest in music. Um, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, it started when I was five years old. Um, my parents forced me to take piano lessons, um, and I hated it. <laughs> um, but when I was uh, early teens, it, that all came back, um, and I, it turned into a real passion for, for music. And um, since then, I've, I've learned about every um, stringed instrument I can find. Um, I like to play violin, guitar, um, even, even banjo when someone will let me play it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? Um, you know, honestly, it goes back to, to piano. Okay. If I'm going to do anything, I'll sit down and play piano. All right. So we can thank your mom for that, right? And thank absolutely. this whole, whole place. Absolutely. It all that. started That's there. Good. That's yeah, good. Absolutely. All right. Well, I talked about in the intro, um, the name of the shop is Sweet Strings. So how did you decide to name it Sweet Strings? Well, um, you know, naming something can sometimes be the, the hardest part of the whole thing. Because <laughs> so this is a family... Um, business so my my daughters my, my kids are involved in it um so we bounced a lot of names around early on mm -hmm. and um you know we wanted to do instruments and they wanted candy so it just made sense all around right. so that's right. that's how it started it's good so i'm going to yeah. try and get you out of trouble um so i think your wife who is actually looking at us right now is probably involved in this uh, adventure as well right uh, very much so. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't do it without her. So, that's good. Um, good. Yeah, so. absolutely. So you'll see her face in here as well as mine. Okay, that's great. That's great. Um, well, tell us what the, the store has to offer. Obviously, we see guitars behind us, but it's, it's more than that. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> um, you know, obviously guitars are a focus, um, but we also have a, um, behind the doors here in the back of the shop, we actually have um, a, a full-time luthier who will do guitar repair. Um, we're getting into some violin repair, some other things like that. Um, but then, you know, we also have uh, vinyl records, vintage records. We've got, um, you know, band. If you're nostalgic for the 70s, 80s, 90s, um, we've got you covered here. So um, we try to make it fun and then the candy as well. So um, just a well-rounded kind of eclectic um, collection. Yeah, and that's what it feels like. Uh a little plug uh, for the business. So my older children all have um, vinyl record players, and so this is the spot where uh, I come to purchase their their vinyl. So uh, that's pretty neat. So, um, so tell us how has it been um, in Bell Buckle, and, and how's business going? Um, we couldn't be happier with it. Honestly, um, we've just seen. I mean, the local outpouring of support for us has been fantastic um, from the shop owners that are on either side of us to, um, you know, we just, we started to develop relationships in the community that uh, we would have never have dreamed of before. So um, it's been fantastic. Yeah. And our web students love to come down here. Um, I, I enjoy sitting down on campus and talking to some of them and they're like, that sweet screen st shop is a really, really neat shop. So we appreciate that. So we're here in part because we have been developing a relationship uh, with Colin Sweet Strings uh, and the Web School. So, uh, Colin, tell us a little bit about what's coming. All right. Um, 
so <clears throat> I don't know if it was Webb or, or us that reached out, but it, it was kind of seemed like it was meant to be because it was almost effortless. But um, uh, we're really looking forward to hosting um, a, a Web Spirit store here at Sweet Strings. Um, so we're going to have um, you know everything that a spirit store should have, right? Um, from the for the basics to you know, baseball caps, tumblers, all that sort of thing. Um, but we're also looking forward to partnering with um, the community and some of the retailers here in Bellbuckle to provide you some also um, some authentic local uh, web items as well. So we're excited for that. Uh, we are thrilled that this will be our bookstore uh, here in Sw Sweet Strings. Um, and so when alums come back, you can come down here um, and get your, your web swag, uh, and the students can come down as well. Uh, but even if folks can't make it to Bell Buckle, right, we've got something else in the works for them, don't we? Absolutely. So um, <clears throat> part of this, uh, a key part of this is going to be an online presence. So yeah, we'll have an um, online web store as well. Um, and you know, that will be for those who can't make it to Bell Buckle, as, as, uh, as we just mentioned. OK, that's great. So um, what can students, faculty, and the Webb family um, alum expect to see when they come in and visit? So you've kind of answered some of that, but um, give them the whole experience. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things about um, Sweet Strings is we want it to be a unique, um, eclectic, interesting, fun experience, right? So um, we have a lot of people that come into Sweet Strings, and when they leave, they're like, this is the coolest store in town. And when we hear that, like, OK, we've we've succeeded, right? Um, so we, we kind of want to bring that to the web experience as well. Um, we're going to have, like I said earlier, all the basics, right? But we want to spice it up a little bit and, and give something that's a, um, kind of the web slash bell buckle experience. Right. So. And as I said earlier, we really do uh, believe that we have this symbiotic relationship with uh, the town of Bellbuckle. Uh, what's good for us is good for them and vice versa. And this is a beautiful example uh, of that kind of partnership. And I know uh, you're going to be able to see some images uh, of the store. Um, you'll hear more uh, just in the coming uh, weeks and months about the online store. But please stop by uh, the store here, Sweet Strings, uh, and see Colin and his wife and his family um, and grab some of your your web gear and, and wear that proudly. Uh, so we do appreciate you. And so this is uh, from downtown Bell Buckle and Sweet Strings uh, store. This is the head talking to the feet. So we thank you for listening and look forward to our next edition. <laughs>